this video we will discuss setting your default image size and default image position. To start, click on the thumbnail tab in the bottom pane. Then click on the gear icon to the right of the screen. Select settings from the drop down menu. We now have a window open called image import settings. It's important to note that these settings only take effect when the image is first imported into the 3D report and will not affect images already in the report. We can choose our default image position using the radio buttons. In this example, I will change the default image position from below to left. This will put my images to the left of my narrative text. The default image positions of left, right, and above are designed to work with a single image per subheading. The below default image position is designed to work with multiple photos on a subheading to combine those photos together beneath the subheading and comment. In addition to this, I'm going to change my default image size to 4 inches. Keep in mind this will only affect newly inserted images and not ones that were already in the report. Now go ahead and click OK. Now let's go ahead and add an image into our report. If you don't currently see any images in your thumbnails pane, like mine, then you'll need to click the folder icon and select a folder with pictures in it. For this example, I'll use my folder called Inspection Photos. Now that I've selected my image folder, I'm going to go ahead and select an image and click on the Import button to add it to my subheading. Now I'm going to add some narrative text to my subheading by clicking on a narrative. Let's go ahead and preview the current section using the preview button. You'll see that our image is 4 inches big and that the image is to the left of the narrative that we added. Go ahead and exit the print preview. A useful tip to know is that we can click on an image to edit it. Here we can change an image's size manually if we don't want to use the default image size. You can also choose to change the image position for just this image using one of these four buttons as opposed to using the default image position that we selected earlier. For more information on image editing, please watch our video on editing images. Go ahead and save and close out of the image edit window. Now let's try another default image position. Go back to the gear icon on the thumbnails tab and then click on Settings from the drop-down menu. This time I'm going to try the default image position of below. And I'm going to change the default image size back to 2 inches like we had before. Go ahead and click OK once you've done that. Now let's add three images to the subheading beneath the subheading that we were on before. You'll see that as I add extra images, it adds a new line to the subheading. When we print preview the report, those three images will combine together since they're on the same subheading and we use the default image position of below. I'm going to add some narrative text. Then I'm going to do a print preview. You'll see that our prior image is still 4 inches and to the left of the narrative comment, and our three new images are combined together below the next subheading from left to right. This is a good option if you like your narrative text above your images. Now let's exit the preview. There are a couple more image options to cover outside of image settings. On the top toolbar, click Preferences. Then, click Preferences from the drop-down menu. Go ahead and click on the Image tab. Here we can choose to draw a frame around all images in the report, or a border around arrows added in image editing. We can also change our arrow style used for image editing by clicking on the different radio buttons. Now click on the Captions tab. Here we'll see some different options for image captions. We can select our text color, 
background color, and caption position. We can also choose to use our image file name as the caption automatically. Click OK to save your changes, or click Cancel if you don't want to make the changes that we've made. Now we're done.